I've been getting a lot of questions about how to do this homework nine, which is putting in our corners here at this intersection. So I just want to give you a little walkthrough, a little tutorial on this. And I've done one a few years earlier, the first time I signed this homework, but it's time to update a little bit. We changed a few things this year on it. I just, this is, I'm in Civil 3D, our favorite program. And I just came over here and I opened up um, the file. And so I opened up this homework nine sketch. And this is what you should be seeing when you're in that. So I'm going to give you a little talk through uh, of how to lay this out and get started. I've had some questions on that. Let's look around uh, a little bit, make sure we know where we're at. And so if you hold down the middle uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, you can drag and pan your drawing around. And if you uh, move the wheel in and out, you can zoom in and out. And so here's my edge of pavement, this dotted line is it's highlighted now. That's one of the edges of the existing road. Here's the other edge of the existing road, also labeled down here, edge of pavement. Here's uh, for this side and that side. So that's our edge of road. These uh, green lines in this view are the center lines of the two roads, and they cross right here in the middle. Here's a turn lane line. Okay, I just kind of left in there. We don't really need it for what we're going to be doing. And uh, so that's enough to get us started. We've got our angles already drawn in here for us, and so we know. Uh, we can tell you could uh, you can label this yourself if you get <laughs> that'd be that good at AutoCAD. If you can label this yourself and find out this is about 62 degrees, this is the complementary angle, so it's about 117. If you're as we get started on design, if you look at through those tables that I, I gave you as part of this homework, you don't have to interpolate to get to 62 degrees. Just use the 60 degree mark. That's close enough. Um, uh, it's close enough for transportation, right? And you'll use 120 degrees is the turn for the other uh, corner over here. So that's the, the ones you'll be looking at there. Uh, so again, here's our, our angles. Again, a 60 or 120 degrees are going to be close enough uh, for using those charts for design. All right, for that. So I want to show you how I normally lay these out. And there's a, a short way to do it, a shortcut way. There's a longer way. I'm going to show you the shorter way because we don't have all day to do these uh, problems. It's going to be close enough uh, for most work. If I did this professionally for the consulting firm, I would do it in the longer direction for it. But we're going to stick with the shorter one. First one off is what, what layer are we on? And to get started, up here is your layer manager. It says we're up here on text. I don't want to be drawing my stuff on text. That's a uh, kind of <laughs> probably what this was on. And it just got saved that way the last time I saved this. So I'm going to change my uh, my layer. And you can do that by pushing this drop down box here and then scrolling up or down. And I'm going to look for the layer I want to be in. There's a layer in here called CE354 Design. That's the layer I want to be on. So I'm going to switch over to that layer. And now it's active. You can see that's it. I can also open up this layer properties, and that would look like this. And I can go to CE354 Design. I see I have a green check mark. That means this is the active layer. And so that's what I'm working with. And drawing, and pull that back off the screen here uh, to save it. So start off with here's the edge of my pavement, and I know I have to tie in. I have to match this edge of pavement at the end of my new radiuses and my new curve, my new intersection design. And to this is, um, you can draw over this, but we don't like to. We like to keep that uh, untouched because that's what came from the original survey. I'm going to trace over the top of it. And to do that, I'm just going to use my line command, create line. And I'm just going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. And now I'm just going to draw over the top of this. All right, let's do that. And it's not snapping. Well, I'd like it to snap. I can change my snap properties by going down here. And we can check out what we're, these are our snap settings is this little box icon. And so let's add some midpoint. Let's add nodes. And let's add perpendicular, tangent, and nearest. These would be the three most important ones. Perpendicular, tangent, and nearest. All right, and now I'm back, and now you can see I've got this little hourglass looking symbol here. And that shows I'm about, that's the nearest snap, and now it'll snap to that and cancel. And so now I've drawn over that, and I know I'm going to end up over here, so I need to do this again. All right, so I'm going to repeat the command. I right clicked, and that repeated, or you can go up here and choose the line command again. That's fine. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to 
snap that guy right there. Okay. And so I'm just going to do one corner for you, and you can figure out how to do the rest <laughs> based on this, right? So that's that. And looking at your guide, you're probably going to need a taper and then a radius and then another taper off of that. And then you've got an offset distance on those tapers as well. So let's start off by setting in what our offset distance is. This is the offset uh, command. So I'm going to click that. Um, it says distance or through. It also repeats all of the directions down here. So if you get lost in the command, read this box down here and see what you're, you're doing right, for that. And so we're going to do through. Yep, we are doing through. And what's my distance? And so looking at my, my table, I think my offset distance is three feet. So I'm going to type in three. It's already in feet. Naturally, you don't have to tell it that. You just tell it three is the standard units. And so there's our three feet. And for that, um, maybe, you know, check your guide. Maybe you want to use four feet. Maybe it's four and a half feet. You know, don't trust me. Check it for yourself. But I'm going to use three. And if I'm wrong, at least to show you how to do it. And then you can do it right. right. So I'm going to click this. And I'm going to move this side. So there's my three foot offset. And now on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Click here. Move over. Click again. There's my th two three foot offsets. All right for that. All right. That's great. Um, and now... Uh, so I know I'm going to be three feet off uh, from there. Now what's my radius? Let me, let's me um, let put our radius in. And I don't know what my radius is. I'm going to check that chart. Uh, maybe it's 120 feet. Check it for yourself um, to be sure. Once I'm in, I'm going to use the fillet command. That's my easiest one to do. And I'm going to do fillet. And now it's going to ask us, are we doing polylines, radiuses, trim, multiple? I'm going to click trim first. Or type in, you can type in T for trim. And I want it to trim, which means it's going to cut off anything that I don't use. And that's good. For this case, I want that. So I'm going to do trim. And now what's my radius? Click there. What's my radius? This is going to be 45 feet. Um, I'm going to make this 120 feet. For that, now I'm ready to go. And here's my first line. Here's my second one. All right, and now I've got a 100, and now it's done. It's automatically com completed. If I click this, you can see I've got a 120 foot radius arc in here. It trimmed off the excess. That's what that trim command meant. So there's no line sticking out here anymore. And it ended right here, and it, it uh, made it exactly tangent to this offset line I'd put in there before. That's three feet off of the old edge of pavement. Right, so I think that looks good. Right, if this is the proper radius, check it for yourself. Then here's my 120 foot radius, and it's three feet off. That's the offset of where the original edge of pavement used to be. Well, what about the taper? Right, so now I've got to show the taper. And so if I click this, right, starting at this point, this is the end of that arc. I need to taper back over here at a ratio of 15 to one right, for that. I think that's the taper rate. Check your own. Be sure you're, you've got your own right. Don't, don't believe me. Um, check your own. And so I'm going to draw another line in here. I'm going to create the line. I'm going to come in here. It's going to snap on to the end. If I can find it. There it is. It snaps on to the end of that arc. I'm going to come over here. It's going to snap perpendicular because that's one of the, the settings I set down here. Right, so we'll go perpendicular. And when I'm done, I'm going to click cancel. And there's my first line. Right, for that so this marks the end of my arc and it gives me that uh, offset there and that should be three feet uh, that should be the dimension on here is three feet for that and how far down do i need to go well at a 15 to 1 ratio at three feet off that should be 45 feet is that correct uh, again check it for yourself so i'm going to offset this and maybe if 45 is the correct 15 times 3 all right, if 15 to 1 is the proper ratio, I'm going to do 45. I'm going to click this. I'm going to come down here. Boom, there it is. And so that is, this is the start. Well, depends on which way you look at it. From here, this is the start of the taper. And this is the end of the taper. Is up here. I just need to hack that in now with the straight line. So starting there, there's snaps to endpoints. Zoom in here. And I'm going to snap to intersection just in case it's not quite um, straight through there. There we go. And now I need to trim off all of the excess. So here's the line I want to keep. Here's the radius I want to keep. I don't need anything else in here. 
Uh, this ties back into the existing right there off of that. So I'm going to trim things off. I'm going to use the trim command uh, for that. It's up here. Here's my trim command. I'm going to trim that. And you have to pick the cutting edges first, and then you trim everything out else after that uh, from there on. So I am going to use uh, this as a uh, trim edge and this, and then I'm going to hit the space bar to accept those. I'm going to trim that off and that. And that, and I don't need that anymore. And I really don't need that anymore, do I? Right. And I come back. Um, hmm, actually, uh, Control Z that thing. I may have trimmed too much off, right? And so that didn't quite touch my existing line because where I snapped, this existing line wiggled around on me. So actually, it was okay where it was. Um, but I can get rid of this now. I'm just going to click it once, hit the delete key. It's gone. Click this, it's gone. Right now I've got the line I need. I'm going to use extend now. You can use trim like I did before, but I'm just going to use extend to come up and match this. Okay, it's, um, when we first drew this in, we kind of approximated where the edge of pavement was. It's okay now. We can just extend this. That's up here. Drop down, go to extend. Click your boundary. That's going to be this. If it lets me click that, and can I extend that? No, I cannot extend it. Okay. Um, you're learning with me here. Let's put this back in. Let's draw that line back in. Okay, we went to there. We want to try to draw in another line here. We'll draw this a little bit better. We'll match there. How's that? Now I'm going to extend this guy. Here's my boundary line. Here's the line I'm extending. Why doesn't that work? Boundary edge, boundary edge. Hit the space bar to select it. And now, okay, now, there we go. And now it's in. And I just hit space to get that. And we'll do one more here and I can show you how that works. All right, now that does actually come up and match. This is the approximated there's a gap here because this is a dashed line and so it looks like we're hitting in space this is actually connected to this line over there so we're okay there now i can delete that out hopefully you did a better job drawing your line in first and i can get rid of that All right and now look at this i've got my taper i've got my radius and over here i can do the same thing let's i'll do one more just for practice over here i'm going to draw in here where's the end of my radius i'm going to hover over this until i see that nope that's the intersection one it should be a square all right let me find it i clicked on this once oh it's way up here no wonder i couldn't find it i was hunting in the wrong area so now we're going to draw our line in here gonna hover over this there it is come across there's my perpendicular and this also now has to be offset the same distance. It should have been 45. It remembered that. So I'm going to specify that. And that puts us down to here. And now I'm going to draw this in. And I'm going to start right there at that intersection. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to tag that and cancel. I don't need this line anymore. Click it once. Hit delete. Click this. Hit delete. I don't need this line anymore. Delete it and delete it and that actually again we were approximating where the edge of the road was it it wants to hit this but there was a jog in that right there it does hit kind of the theoretical extension of that so i think that's all right we're going to live with that well or we could trim it right there right, if we wanted to that's still at 15 to 1 ratio that's from the here that would be the correct offset i think it's close enough i think we're going to leave it uh, alone that looks pretty good and look what we got so doesn't that look like a nice uh, radius here we've got our taper and our offsets in we've got our simple radius and we've got our taper and our offset back out again all right so now we've got that all in there and i'm trying to remember if i asked you to dimension this i think i did ask you to dimension it and so you can come over here to dimension that is under annotate in the menu bar and click annotate through that here's my dimensions and here's all these nice dimensions we can do different ones in there i can do uh, linear i can do aligned i can do angular I can do radius let's do radius 
click that, click this guy, there's my radius, 120 feet. Right? I can come up here, I can do a uh, line if I want. And so if we measure this, move to the end of that. I just hover along this until I get to the end. And it's right there. Oops. And that's the dimension there. That's how long that turned out to be. 58.93. It's about uh, 60 feet right, for that. That seems to be probably close, right? For what we are doing. And we can do the same thing over here. Do a line. There we go. All right, 45. 45 is what we actually measured before. Um, this one got longer because we didn't actually finish right. Uh, we were approximating that line. We didn't quite hit it. So by the time I stretched it out, it got a bit longer. But So there's my dimensions. That's pretty good right, for that. We'll live with that. Um, yeah, we're, we never go more than two decimal places for dimensions in civil engineering. Quite often we'll, we'll round actually to one decimal place for new stuff. But this is fine. Right? This This will work just fine. Uh, for that so i would just accept the default uh, values for that we wanted to get crazy with it this one's a little bit longer than that just because this uh, we had originally drawn that line in back here so we weren't quite on it all right this is good enough well, this is pretty good i would accept this uh, just fine and i'm not sure if i asked you anything else in dimension wise but here's where you find, you find them if i did uh, that's where they are right? if we had the dimension that offset Right, I can jump in here and I can probably throw one in there and, and dimension that offset too if I wanted to. There's that, and here's my dimension. All right, oh yeah, I'm about three feet off. All right, so you're showing me that you've got the right offset, and there's that distance. And I'm 45 feet at three feet off. I can calculate that's that's a 15 to one ratio. All right, for that. So there we go, and then you'll just save that uh, and. Then you're going to want to add in a paper space view of this if you really want to do a nice job. You can do a screen grab. I'm not sure if I asked you to do a screen grab only or if you want to do a paper space thing. You can jump over here. Oh, yeah, there's title block. Just click title block. Now you're in paper space. Everything's lined up. Your dimensions are all showing. And now you can print this guy over here. Here's our print command. Oh, let's plot a single sheet. Uh, for that and it's already set for you. It's drawing the PDF that makes a PDF version of this great Let's do that and you can put on 11 by 17 extents. Let's see what it looks like Do quick preview well, That looks great and that right there is good enough for your submittal uh, For this homework you'll do the other corners and again don't trust me on these radiuses and offsets and and dimensions maybe i told you the wrong number just to throw you off uh, for that and probably not because i wanted to throw you off probably because i forgot <laughs> what the right answer is all right for that and uh, so you'll have to do the other four corners and then you'll be all set uh, save that as a pdf you'll upload those that pdf uh, to your assignment as this piece of it and then you're all set